Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays, The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Eden runs, I forgot for a second, we've got this incredible one streak going right now. Oh my god, could you just, uh, this head of the Keeper. And then we've also got uh, the X-Ray Goggles, and we've also got Dead Sea Scrolls, and decent damage it seems like. Could, could you just start me with like, at least a blue baby level of HP? Would it kill you to start me with a blue baby level of HP? Uh, you know what, I'm, I've decided... Our damage might not be quite as good as I thought it was, but this is a pretty good start. You know, we had the like missing no D100 on the last run, so I think we had some Eden's blessing action. I'm not, I'm not loving the frame rate right now. Hold up, give me a sec. Close this and close this and then close this maybe. Yes, save. Okay, this is why you probably should not have Photoshop. Visual Studio 2013, Steam, the Volume Mixer, all this stuff open at the same time. Uh, it might be a little bit uh, counterproductive here. Yeah, save it. Photoshop, just save it all. I don't care. Close the freaking window. Oh, my God. My Lord. It never ends. Okay. I'm not used to having just a desktop in the background here. Feels, feels oddly foreign here. Okay, we got this, we got this, and it doesn't appear to have helped the frame rate at all. So, you know what? You'll just... Maybe I'm just losing my mind. Actually, it looks pretty smooth in the preview video, so I have no idea what's going on. It doesn't matter. Get some money, uh, get arrested, get the message. Oh, that was, that was supposed to be Kanye West. Uh, can't tell me nothing. What do we get here? That was deck of cards? I don't like to make a habit out of using... Dead Sea Scrolls, because, you know, one kamikaze at the wrong time could cause uh, a lot of problems here. Or should I say, it could uh, uh, cause a lot of problems. That's uh, that's not really how that wordplay makes any sense at all. But that's okay, because it's already committed to the public record now. Okay, we're going to come back. I don't know if we want the uh, louse. I'm learning, like, one trinket a week at this point. I don't know what the louse does yet. Um, no, I'm not referring to the... Southeast Asian country with a similar name, but uh, I do know what Black Feather does now. So if we find that and various other evil ups, I'm going to be pretty excited. Let's try to find some pills here. Or a magic mush. That could be a magic mush. It's a mini mush. But a health up as well. Okay, so now we got like more than blue baby level HP. I'm happy about that. Oh, yeah. A little bit more than blue baby level HP as we get super bandage here. Uh, I'm just going to go fight the boss because I really want DPS rather than doing a big room that's going to take us a, a ton of time and maybe annoy the crap out of me. Um, what is this one? Shoop the whoop? No. Uh, Book of Shadows, I guess. It's all right. We can get in here a little bit. It's going to take us a while. Wow, that invincibility was surprisingly, like, non-effective. It's not the invincibility's fault, it's our DPS's fault, but, man, that is, that is suboptimal. Look at this killer range, though. Can't deny that. From a range perspective, we're, we're balling out of control right now. Hey, there's a penny as well. If we wanted to, we could, uh, perhaps, 20 minutes from now, when we finish this boss fight, go buy a bomb from our shop, blow up this, uh, Tinted rock here and have a very small chance to get a small rock, which could improve my damage to the point where this feels like a semi-functional run. The scary part is that Larry Jr. is not a tanky enemy. I know I'm, I'm just shooting like in the same direction and not adjusting my shots too much. There's our fifth cent. Um, it's, it's probably a suboptimal way to handle the situation. But uh, we are slowly but surely getting the job done here. Start to peel off some segments here pretty soon, I'm sure. There's our sixth cent. If we find two three cent consumables, we're set, man. So we got another spirit heart just for killing them. We got a box of stuff, so we don't even have to go to the shop. We can just blow this up. Watch battery, not really too relevant. Small rock, hugely relevant. Uh, let's see this pill as well. This one is a speed down. That's real nasty. We're going to head down to the next floor in the hopes of finding uh, a blood bank, thanks to our seven cents. I'm going to Hanged Man in. Save us the half spirit heart. With our low speed, you never know if that's actually going to cost us, right? So, feel like this was sensible. Hold on, I'm going to close, like, volume mixer. The heck is this? This is just the open uh, 
folder explorer in Windows. I'm just like the frame rate is just tanked. It's probably we're due for a computer restart, I guess. Oh, dude, this is awesome, actually. Like, I was actually going to talk about my ideal situation being Deck of Cards Hanged Man, the exact situation that happened when we used Dead Sea Scrolls on the last floor. Um, but then it ended up working out. I didn't explain it because it would have taken, like, longer than I would uh, like to admit. Now I re can't really complain about our luck. We've gotten, you know, three HP upgrades under pretty uh, unlikely circumstances, I suppose. Very fortuitous to get it against... Uh, Gluttony there, and then also super bandage on a curse of the blind floor, and then an HP upgrade pill. Might have been HP downgrade, but it's HP upgrade as far as I'm concerned, the way it manifested its effects. Now we just need, like, literally any form of DPS. Mom's wig. Oh, it's almost good enough, maybe? Bloody lust is definitely good enough, especially if we can find an arcade on this floor. So it was a health downgrade. There's our arcade. Now we gotta try to swing an IV bag out of this. We're looking like Michael Sarah straight out of Juno. Straight out of Juno! Crazy motherfucker didn't use a prophylactic. Now he's gotta do some fatherly tactics. Or else Emma Page is gonna raise her baby alone. To have the authority to... Doesn't really go anywhere. I tried. Okay. IV bag. At the very least, it's gonna be comforting to have some damage on this floor. That's just a blood bag, but... I'm still, uh... Still pretty happy about this. Maybe we shouldn't have taken that yet, just because, uh... Makes us less likely to be able to use the uh, health down pill on this floor, but we can use it on a subsequent floor, even if we can't use it on this floor, which we may be able to. Pretty fly. Pills have been good, man. Help. Still have not been hit somehow. That was a little surprising. You know what? The speed upgrade from that blood bag is... Making me feel a little bit better about things as well. Okay, that's enough money to feel very, very good about our fiscal situation. There is a tinted rock back here. I mean, with our last bomb, do I even want spirit hearts? Because that's probably what we're going to get. We got a spirit heart and a key. To be honest with you, I'm not just saying this because it's strange, but I, I don't know if that was worth it. I'm not mad about it. I mean, it did give us some profit, but we might have been better off just getting a golden chest or something. <sighs> shop, please. Yes, shop has given us glowing hourglass and uh, some other items that maybe I'm not that into. Luck down. Tears down. That's really bad. Amnesia. Not not too horrible. Range down. And balls of steel. The rare um, five pill room where every pill is neutral or worse. <laughs> that was that was something special. Okay, we got power pill, I guess, or game kid. Made that fight easy. We will get that HP upgrade plus the extra damage. Take this. Take this. We got Little Brim and Succubus. We get our health upgrade, and then we get to take meat as well. So there was a lot of value in that. We managed to make it work. And we got some good uh, damage upgrades, which are actually going to help us out a lot here. And Little Brim kind of helps us out uh, without requiring our own tier or damage stat to go up that much. So... To go up at all, really. So I like that it's independent of that. I call those items, you know, basically static items, because... Uh, our success with them doesn't really depend on, on anything else. That was very bad. Uh, which is not completely um, honest, I guess. You know, our ability to use Br Little Brimstone does depend on how many familiars we have in advance of Little Brimstone. So it becomes, you know, harder and harder to aim the more you get. But still, that's that's pretty huge. Glitter Bombs, uh, five bombs plus the glitter effect. Not, uh, not meritless. Certainly not something you'd look for as, like, especially outside of a daily, where you're not worried about score. It's not one of those items you're going to be like, oh, this is amazing, we got glitter bombs. But, you know, we, there may come a point where those bombs uh, prove to be very useful, so I'm okay with that for now. We also have an XL floor here, so we should prepare for the fact that we're going to have uh, two item rooms. Probably no deal with the devil. Only one, or uh, two boss fights as well. Battery charge back here. Don't really care about because I'm trying to use Dead Sea Scrolls as little as possible. What would be great on this floor is if we got, like, um, Champion Belt. Like, anything that gives us more damage done uh, as a passive. Because something like Red Candle, that was Charm Tears, unfortunately. Something like Red Candle kind of cannibalizes our ability to use Little Brimstone effectively. It wouldn't necessarily be bad, but uh, maybe not as optimal as, as potentially just, like, a passive damage dealing item. Or any kind of, like, utility spacebar item. 
Like, yeah, Blank Card Devil is substantially better. Let's just... I mean, Blank Card Temperance has some has some interesting stuff going on here, because this is basically uh, a, a very strange reusable IV bag. I think we'll try to roll with this, actually. As ridiculous as it sounds, we do have Bloody Lust, so we can kind of make this work for ourselves the more HP we have. And if we ever get IV bag, we can swap out whenever we want, I guess, but... You know, we kind of, we're making our own IV bag here. Okay, uh, is there anything else we might want here then? Key? Maybe the key's not so bad? I kind of like it. Probably don't need to play that anymore. Um, but that's alright. Okay! Uh, good, I think. I'm not gonna stress out about that room too much. Now we're actually dealing damage. Oh, that was... We're taking damage as well, apparently, but we're dealing damage here. That was a kind of a creative way to, to find a, a damage seam on this run. I like it. Of course, if we can get something that consistently gives us more red hearts, that would be great as well. I guess we're not playing any more temperance cards on this floor, but more red hearts is always good. We kind of got everything that's like super valuable to get on this floor. Both item rooms, the shop, the arcade. There was no arcade on this floor. <laughs> or there, if there is, we didn't find it, but still. We kind of got an arcade, in my opinion. Experimental Treatment also gave us more HP and gets us a little closer to spun. Man, we could really use a Tears upgrade. I don't think Experimental Treatment hit us up with a Tears upgrade. Definitely gave us a Speed upgrade, but a Tears upgrade, I don't know. No deal with the Devil, but the Halo for even more HP. Uh, and also all stats up, so that's positive. We're building like what I would consider to be a very solid run right here. Um, Curse of the Unknown scares the shit out of me, actually. That's pretty sweet, though. Now we can fly. Um, the speed is getting a little disgusting. Like, it's actually, like, making me want to throw up in my mouth a little bit. Giving me a little bit of motion sickness. Just because mankind was not meant to move this quickly. Uh, this is a shop? That is not it. Why did I think that was a shop? Didn't see the icon properly, I guess. This isn't a shop, but it is an item room. That, that was bullshit. That thing predicted me going there. It moved so far before we even got there. Um, but hey, on the bright side, we picked up Ipecac, which is going to uh, cannibalize our use of Little Brimstone quite a lot, but at the same time is also going to be sweet as heck. Especially... If we can get some, uh, if we can get some extra speed going here, it's not extra speed. What am I talking about? If we can get some extra uh, damage going from Bloody Lust. But you know what? There is the Emperor. I think I may just roll Emperor and basically try to beat this run in a stupid fast amount of time. We haven't done that in a while. I like it. I have a good time with it. You know, let's take our battery charge. That allows us to do a lot of good stuff. Is this an XL floor? No. Okay. Well, we've already been to our item room in our shop, so I'll tell you what. Let's teleport out of here. I think we can probably throw down like a 17-minute run here. Let's let's. I'm not. Let's pretend it's like balls of steely. We're at balls of steely, Dan. We're gonna take pentagram. We're gonna take this. We're gonna wait for our boss. Um. And then we're gonna head down to the next floor. Uh, we'll we'll try to teleport out of boss rush, but we might just teleport through boss rush if we can get a full. Chest run done in under 20 minutes. I would consider this like a huge success. It's been a long time since I've I've really tried to rush down a run like speed run strat wise. I'm excited to see how it looks. You know what? Let's just try the Emperor right now, dog. Let's get out of here. I do this knowing full well that it's going to annoy a lot of people. Some people come to these runs, they want to see every single item room, every single shop on a seat. That's okay. I think there's, a, there's obviously a place for that. That's what like 90% of my runs are. This one... I'm just gonna push it a little little differently, a little weirder. We're gonna take Brimstone. Brimstone Ipecac seems pretty good. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to throw down like a 15 minute run. I know that seems ridiculous given that we're already at 12 minutes. I think it could happen though. And after all of the runs recently with the D100 zaniness and the scrounging with Lilith and the Keeper and the nonsense like that, I'm happy to be a part of this one. Yo, our rate of fire is actually so slow. This is what I was hoping for. It's a constructive room. We crack it open and get the goat head. Okay. Blank card, Emperor. I know what you're thinking. 15 minutes, no way, dog. You're already at 12.30 here. 12.30? You say 12.30? I think lunchtime. 
I don't, I, your, your uh, objections fall on deaf ears is what I'm trying to say here. Normally, 1230 is a little bit closer to breakfast time for me than lunchtime, but that's because I live a, a strange life. I live my life like there's no tomorrow. Let's get out of here. Okay, 1240. That floor was like a minute. That room only gives me one charge, so if we're focusing on like the best economy we can get, we want to go faster than that. Why did I, uh... Why did I pick up Sister Maggie, Brother Bobby? Basically because we're not going to die, and they can help us out a little bit. We Emperor card. Now we're at 13 minutes, we're fighting Mom's heart. You're starting to believe, aren't you, Agent Scully? As I'm pretty much a poser, I've never really seen the X-Files, but... You know, the reference does make sense, so. We do have Bloody Lust as well, so every time we get hit, we're actually getting a little bit of a speed bonus, or a, a room clear bonus at least. Still endeavor to make that happen as little as possible. I don't mind this. Give me the Krampus fight. Give me a lump of coal. Give me a <laughs> rate of fire increase, please, though, as well, because this is a little ridiculous. Okay, Krampus' head, no, it's just... Is not functional for us at this point. We're going to head up. We're not going to go fight the, the Hush. I've seen your comments on the dailies. The Hush is boring. Okay, well, it's not, we don't have to do it then. We'll skip it on this one, and everyone can uh, have their cake and eat it too. Now we have zero keys, now one key for the chest. So, not loving that. But we can do this. And then grab this, come in here, crack this open. That's not a key. What is it? Bad trip! What a waste of my time. Get the heck out of here. I thought we'd get some free shit there and I'd look like a genius. Instead, I look like a, a freaking idiot. Now we're at 14 minutes and you're thinking, wait a minute, 15 minutes? That's starting to look like it's well within the realm of possibility. Also, an off chance that we could die. 15 minutes is probably not going to happen. We're looking more... Like, I'm splitting hairs a little bit here, but probably more like 17. Which is actually not that impressive, all things considered. It's because my fucking rate of fire <laughs> takes so long. And I'm not talking about the 2002 film starring Christian Bale and Matthew McConaughey. That's rain of fire. I'm talking about my rate of fire, which is fairly suboptimal, quite frankly. I only get one shot in. Which is kind of ridiculous. Given how long this motherfucker spends outside of his little hole. Well, hopefully, like, our first chest is Skeleton Key. I mean, I know that can't actually happen. But that would be pretty sweet, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna go bottom left, I believe. Sweet. D8. Reroll stats. Let's try it. I have no idea. Our rate of fire still seems... It, it might actually be worse. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. This is gonna take some time. Uh, actually, I think it is better. And of course, what I actually meant to say instead of this is gonna take some time is... I think it's gonna be a long, long time. Till touchdown brings me back again to find. Don't have the tears I thought I had at home. Oh no. I'm a slow shooting man. Slow shoot man. Not setting land speed records right now. But still, I mean, like, it's going to be like a 16 minute run. Assuming we live. Which is still likely in spite of my dumb damage here. Diablo 2. Okay, 16 minutes. No chance. I'm pleased with this, but it was kind of a fast one. We'll do another one quickly uh, on our... Well, not quickly, but we'll do another one in due time on our next run. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.